Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a fun unboxing video on the new Sir Vagabond collection which is designed by my talented friend Antonis Tsanidakis for Stamperia. It is a great collection, amazing designs. I love that it has that vintage vibe along with steampunk and I know that this sells out really quickly the moment the shops stock up, everything sells out. So I thought it would be fun to show you the whole collection or at least what I have at hand right now in case you want to grab something and I will be sharing many projects throughout the next months using products from this collection. Let's start with a 12 by 12 paper pad, nice thick pages. On the first one you will find many tags that you can cut out, even uh, quotes for your projects. The second page has uh, Sir Vagabond himself, you can cut him out and stick him on your projects. And I absolutely love the background design as well. You will find lots of gears, cloaks and transportation in the designs. This is another paper where you can see a city along with a sky. You can cut out even bits and pieces from the houses to use them on your project. Now, one of my favorite things on pattern papers is maps. I don't know why, but I absolutely love them and sometimes I hoard them. Now here is an awesome focal point for a page. I'm going to absolutely use this one. I love that you get a train as well as that balloon. And I think this is actually a teapot, a steampunk design which is really unique and makes a great focal point. In this page you also get that town. I think it is the same design, but this time it, uh, it has that vintage vibe and color with browns. You can cut out different houses all the town as a whole. And I absolutely love the background at the top that says the Traveler News. Love newspapers as well as maps. And you will find this one as a stencil in this collection as well as as a stamp. You will see them later on. Now here is another map, you know I love those. The next page features an angel or a guy with wings and um, you can even cut him out as he is and use him on your projects or just use the wings which is something that I plan to do. The background is also great on this page and you get this one without the angel at the back so you can use bits and pieces from that. And the truth is that I never use these papers as a whole, I always like to cut out bits and pieces to incorporate them on my projects. Now this is a page that gives you many different uh, rectangle designs that you can use them as a rectangle or if you want you can just cut out the focal point on the inside. You get cloaks, maps, the wings, Sir Vagabond, the, um, a couple of uh, quotes and at the back you will find that uh, the design aligns perfectly. So if you are one of those guys who create albums and you want to use those as inserts then they are perfect because you will have a front and a back. And I love that you get two big quotes which are perfect for finishing off a project, especially in my case that I like to create art journals. In this page you get a whole Sir Vagabond, not just his face. The pack is quite subtle but I absolutely love this type of papers because they make the perfect background. Now the next one has a lovely color combination. I love blues and browns together and you get cloaks and compasses. Then this is the page with a lovely geometric design and you will find something similar in a stencil as well. And another map, my absolute favorite of the whole collection. I love the vintage vibe that you get different bits and pieces in between where the ocean is. And uh, at the back you will get another map in the same vibe as well. And this is a favorite paper, but for me, lovely collection just because it includes so many vintage maps. And that's the reason why I get two of the same uh, paper pads so that I can use both sides and I don't have to fight with myself on which side I will use on my project. Now here's another one that has that newspaper vibe on it, great for backgrounds and the back is again pretty much similar but in a different color combo. This is one of those pages that you can cut out all those bits and pieces and there is another one like this one. So if you do want to grab the extra pack of die cuts or the chipboard pieces and such, you are good to go with this paper pad. It has so many different bits and pieces that you can use. And this last page has a lovely design, perfect for backgrounds. Now this is the 12 by 12 paper pad, but you will also find it available in an 8 by 8 size, which is going to give the exact same designs, but shrinked. And let's move on to the stamps for this collection. They have the same vibe and designs as the paper pad, so you know what you expect. Lovely, lovely designs, especially if you love steampunk and vintage. 
Now there are six of them actually, but I do have just five here to show you. And let's start with the first one. I'm going to call this one newspaper. I love stamping with a text stamp on my backgrounds. It's one of my go-to techniques and I think that this is a stamp that I will be using again and again. It is a rubber stamp so you will get fine details which you cannot get with clear stamps. And don't get fooled by the packaging. The stamp is really big so you can see the difference here on the packaging which is really shrinked. Now one thing you need to keep in mind with these rubber stamps by Stamperia is that uh, they are nice and rubber and they have foam at the back but it doesn't clink. So if you want to clink that on your stamping platform or on an acrylic block it's not going to clink, this is foam at the back. I am going to show you however how you can work with that, it's really quick and simple. Let me open up the next stamp where you will find the Serve Vagabond. This would work on an art journal or any other mixed media project, but also on a card. Now again, don't get fooled by the packaging, the designs there are always ringed, but you see, you get nice big stamps to work with. In this set you will get the big Serre Vagabond as well as a cloak with wings on each side and again you can stamp the wings and separate them to use them for something completely different. You will also get cloaks, gears and even uh, words. Now all these stamps are uh, designed to work on mixed media projects as well as other journals and uh, that's why they don't clink. You usually work with them with your hands and you stamp here and there making sure that you get a non-perfect impression that is going to look organic and uh, quite grungy. But if you want to have a perfect impression then place the stamp on top of your surface and place the paper on top. This way you will get a better impression and another way that I like to do and this is probably my go-to method is to use some double sided tape at the back and then this is going to clink nicely on top of your acrylic block or your stamping platform. Just because that uh, tape is on top of the foam you can easily wrap it off if you want to clean that adhesive at some point or you can even wrap it with one of those uh, adhesive erasers but I, once I put a double sided tape there I just keep it there because it gives me a, an extra option on using those stamps and you can see it doesn't even move when I place it down on my surface. So anyway let's move on to the next stamp set. Now this is great for creating borders, you will get cloaks, you will get gears as well as um, a geometric shape and again these are nice and big, bigger than they appear at the front of the packaging. If you are into mixed media I know that you will be using those borders a, a lot again and again because they are really versatile and they would match many projects. Now this is a map, absolutely love this stamp, you know I have something about maps and uh, this is a nice big one, I know it would make a great background for a card as well. Let's move on to the next one where you will find the composition of gears, again a great stamp for adding interest on your backgrounds. Here is a close up look, you will get lots of details on these stamps. And here is the last one that I don't have currently but it gives you that train with the teapot balloon. In the same collection you will find lots of bits and pieces to embellish your projects with and I'm going to show you some of them here. These are the die cuts, these are chipboard and they are nice and thick, they are going to give a lovely dimension on your projects. The fun part is that you get the same designs, color combo and look and feel with the actual uh, uh, pattern paper. And I actually find that these are not only for embellishing your mixed media projects or art journals, their size is perfect for using them as focal points on cards as well. Here is another chipboard pack, you will get some designs here. The only difference uh, with the previous pack of chipboards is that this one is already a sticker, so you can just peel them off and stick them on your projects. There are also wooden shapes, so you get the same designs but in a wood, nice and thick for focal point, especially in uh, mixed media projects. There are two packages, I only have one of them, so you can see they are already laser cut, so all you have to do is to just pop them out and use them on your projects. Let's take a look at something completely unique and new to me. I'm really excited on using them somehow. I always like a good challenge. So these are transparent pages. You will get six of them in the pack. Five of them have a design on top. 
And let me open up a pad here, which is white, so you can see the designs better as I place them on top. You can color these with alcohol inks, you can cut out bits and pieces and incorporate them somehow on your projects. You can use them front and back, and just because they are so thick, they could make a nice sturdy cutout. Use them as a front cover on your DIY journals. You can also use them as pages inside your junk journals or create shaker windows with them. They are nice and sturdy and you see you get so many different designs. You will get in the package six pages. One of them is completely transparent. And of course you can stamp on it if you like. Just make sure that you use an ink that doesn't smudge on acetate. I'm really excited for these ones and I cannot wait to find a way to incorporate them somehow on my journals. Now there are also cutouts that I don't have, but they are acetate printed cutouts just like these ones in a package. I think they are sold out everywhere, but I'm looking for them and hopefully I will get them. Even if the soaps sell out, they will restock, so just check back again and again for the products that you really like. I also have two rice papers from this collection. There are rice papers in this size, about letter size or A4 for the Europeans. I don't really use rice papers a lot, but I find that they are a great way for beginners to start a page since you just stick it down and you have something to start with. And I think I will use this one in one of my projects as an example. There are four rice paper designs in this size, as well as two rice paper designs in the large size. So you can check them out if you want. And now let's take a look at the stencils. Oh my god, the stencils are absolutely stunning, nice and thick. So if you work with paste, it is going to have a nice big texture. There are five stencil designs available, I only have two of them here, but I am trying to track down one that I don't have and I absolutely love, which is the newspaper, which I have as a stamp as well. In this stencil you get text at the top and at the bottom, as well as a wing, and always remember you can flip the stencil to use the wing facing the other side. And the second stencil that I have is the one with a geometric design, which is a really versatile stencil. In the same collection you will find grey boards, these are paper and they are quite thick that you can build up on top of your projects, especially if you are working with mixed media, then I know you are really familiar with them. They are not super thick and you can use them as uh, focal points on top of your cards if you want to make something dimensional, but you cannot go crazy with them inside an art journal book. However, if you are working on mixed media projects like a canvas for example, then they are perfect. Now this is an owl, you can build it up by placing layers one on top of the other. Although I'm not into three dimensional projects, this is so stunning, I think I'm going to use it in one of my future videos. I just want to put this together. Here's another pack where you will find a lot of cloaks as well as gears. This is full of gears in a smaller and bigger sizes. I know that mixed media people use those a lot. And finally here is one that gives you a combination of gears as well as words. Finally, if you like to create your own three-dimensional elements, there are molds. These are two of the four available silicone molds and you can see the level designs. They are really thick and you get lots of dimension. Just because they are silicone, they are really flexible and you can take out your uh, project easily. You can use them with paper clay, you can use them with resin and you can even fill them up with silicone from a hot glue gun. There are also bigger plastic molds. These are about A4 size in size for the Europeans or letter size for the US. Since I usually work on an art journal, I don't normally use these three-dimensional elements, but I think they are a great challenge for me. And uh, since I have those molds, maybe I will dive into that uh, journey this year. I think they are going to be lots of fun to play with. Now there is one more design with that owl that you saw the grey board before. There are bulbs, again very versatile these ones, and you will find there is a frame as well as bits and pieces that you can use on your three-dimensional projects as well. So this was the whole collection. There are some bits and pieces that I don't have yet. Since I do have a popular channel, I do get these products for free directly from the companies, but I think that this 
video can be helpful for you since you can see the whole collection, see the products up close and decide what is a must-have for you. You will find down below links to three different shops that have this collection. Some of the products may sell out, but um, they will restock soon. So just keep an eye for the things that you really love. Thank you all so much for watching today and hope you will have a lovely day.